over the last 10 or 15 years, Turkey has come self-sufficient in virtually every area of the land system sec sector. One of those is missiles, and the Turkish company of Rocketsan is really the missile systems house of Turkey. One of the most recent weapons is this. This is the Rocketsan OMTAS, which has recently in production for the Turkish army, and first missiles would be delivered late this year. The first version, as you can see, is a tripod-mounted version, and that will be used by the infantry. It has a maximum range of up to 4,000 meters, and can engage targets stationary and moving under day and night conditions. The warhead is what we call the tandem high explosive anti-tank type, and that is designed to neutralize ERA. So the first warhead would activate the ERA, and the second warhead would penetrate the main armor of the platform. Another feature, it can be launched behind cover, and it has both direct and indirect fire capability as well as lock-on before and after launch. Today, the Turkish army uses the Raytheon tow system, and this will replace that. In addition, the Turkish army did buy a number of Russian Cornet laser-guided projectiles as an early urgent operational requirement, and again, this missile will replace that. As we said, this is the first tripod-mounted version. The next version to enter service will be a vehicle-mounted version, and that will be mounted on two platforms being developed by FNSS under contract to the Turkish Army. One of these is a wheeled platform, a 4x4, and the other one is a track platform. And this will have a remote turret with missiles in the ready-to-launch position. Um, and that is also under development, and the Turkish Army will take delivery of a significant number of those platforms.